Hi guys, today is Monday. Not sure when you guys are going to see this video, but as of filming, today is Monday, July 17th. So hi guys, today's Monday. I hope you guys are off to and I hope you guys, I have not, wow, I am rusty. <laughs> hi guys, today is Monday. I hope everyone's day is off to an amazing start. Thanks so much for stopping in today guys where have y'all been where have y'all been it's been a fortnight but i guess you guys are like no niece where have you been where have you been as you guys can see by the title uh we've been kind of going through it over here we've been going through a few things over here as they say life has absolutely been lifing but we move right um, how, what does it say on the salt box? Into everyone's life, a little rain must fall. And I guess it was our turn. <laughs> so, um, and I can laugh about all of this now because like I said, we have moved through it. Um, when was my last video upload? Let me see here. When was the last upload? How long ago was that? All right, well over two weeks. Not too bad, not too bad. Um, but yeah, so as you guys can see by the title, we were actually robbed while away in Orlando. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I'm going to get into the details. Uh, I don't even really feel like dredging it back up, but I feel, um, as you guys are out traveling this summer, I think this is something, you know, that I sh should share because it really caught us off guard but before we get into that i want to send a huge shout out to a brand for sending sending over a lock to us um just security um so tho is the brand they sent us over this digital fingerprint digital fingerprint keypad deadbolt and eric is actually going to install this on one of the doors here in the house so before we get into all of the gory details of um what transpired while we were away in orlando we're gonna tip downstairs and eric is going to install this lock for us um it appears to be very very easy to install just from what i've seen there aren't a whole bunch of pieces or anything like that um so you're not gonna need a PhD to install this and you can pick this up on Amazon. And of course, I'll have the link for it below, but let's tip downstairs <laughs> and uh, Eric's gonna install this for us and then we'll come back and I'll, you know, we'll get into all of the minutia of what transpired not too long ago in Orlando. Ugh. Hey guys, so the Property Brother is back. I'm making a special guest appearance today. Shout out to T-Ho for sending us this wonderful Keyless entry, electric lock slash deadbolt. Really love this product. I love keyless keypad fingerprint entry systems. I think they're the wave of the future. I think in 10, 20 years, nobody will have keys anymore. It's gonna be all systems like this wonderful T-Ho system. What I love about this system is, again, it's 100% keyless. You can actually store the fingerprints and keypad information for over 20, for 20 people. So you could have up to 20 people that have access to the lock through their fingerprints or through a key code. Now, obviously you wanna be safe, you know, don't share with everybody, but family members, housekeepers that you trust, whoever, they can have access to this. Another feature I'll get into before I open this box up is, how many of us have left our home and you forget to lock the door, right? You forget, oh man, did I lock the front door? Did I lock the back door? This actually has an auto lock feature that you can set it where after 10 to, I think between 10 and 99 seconds, it will auto lock. But enough about the features, let's go ahead and get into this unboxing. So here I have the box here. If I flip it over, there are some specs on the back. So it does show you, you know, what the working temperature needs to be. Hopefully it's not too hot to install it. So it has to be between 31 and 150 degrees. I don't know, it might be 150 degrees today. It's so hot, I don't know. Tells you what type of battery you need. You need four AA. Guys, don't, don't put cheap batteries in your, in your door locks. I love a good Dollar Tree battery, but I don't use them in my door locks. Get, get a good battery. 
Uh, the door thickness is on here, what door thickness it supports between one and three eighths and two inches, which is typical, and some other specs. But enough about that, let me go ahead and open it up. Let's do our unboxing and see what's in the box. So first, we have a good set of instructions that I will need. Now, let me say this. For those of you that have never um, installed a lock before, I've installed many types of locks over the years. Installing a lock is not hard. Don't be intimidated if you've never done it before. It's, it's pretty easy to do it. Um, even with the system as advanced as this, all you need is a screwdriver, so don't be intimidated by it. They give you a nice little template, right? To help guide you through if you need to cut the door or make some adjustments to your door. So they give you a template, we'll put that to the side. Then we'll pull out some of the components here. So the first thing we've got here is the actual keypad. So let's open this bad boy up. So wonderful keypad, right? And then you see right there, that's the little fingerprint. Um, I've actually never used a fingerprint lock system before, so I'm looking forward to trying this. This is like real high-tech, Mission Impossible, James Bond type stuff. So I'm looking forward to that. So we'll put that to the side. Let's see what we got here. This just looks like it's some of the hardware. Yep, some screws and the bolt that goes with the lock. Pretty standard. Again, nothing here too non-standard. You also do have some keys. So you do have the keys as a backup, it looks like. And then it looks like you've got the backside of the lock, right? So the actual deadbolt, which would obviously be on the inside. So this looks pretty simple. Again, I've done a few locks over the years. Honestly, this looks even a lot easier than some of the more complicated, just traditional deadbolts that I've done. So I'm gonna go ahead and install this bad boy. If I had to guess, this looks like it'll take me maybe 10 minutes but let's give it a try. While Eric is gathering up his tools, I want to share with you guys the door that we will be putting the new T-hole lock on. It's going to be the uh, kitchen, I almost said the lock. It's going to be the door actually right here off of the kitchen and our little eating area. You guys know I have my newly built screened in porch and so with that, I am going in and out of the house a lot. So we felt this would be the perfect door to put the new lock on. Um, these are double doors, they both open up. You know, sometimes you'll get these doors and only one of them will open, but um, they both open up. So I'm gonna get you guys on the tripod. Eric's going to gather up his tools and we'll get started. So I have successfully removed our old lock. Right now I'm just kind of dry fitting the new lock. So I've got the keypad component and obviously it's going on the outside of the door. So I'm just checking the fit of everything and making sure it's gonna be a nice flush, easy fit, which it looks like it is. Lock is installed. Now I'm just going to install the batteries and remember use good batteries. Don't get the Dollar Tree batteries. And we'll program it to take a code and fingerprints. All right, guys, here is the moment of truth. Okay, Eric has installed the code, okay? So I'm going to lock him out. <laughs> and we're gonna see if it works, all right? Oh. What is the experience exiting and entering your house? Well, when you exit your house and close the door and lock it, you get a nice little red light and a beep that tells you that the door is closed and locked. So go ahead and I'll close the door and let's lock it. And then once you lock it, you get that red beep and the sound so you know the door is locked. So you're 100% sure when you leave your house, everything is secure. Now, if you wanna get back into the house, obviously I can type in our secret code here, but rather than do that, I'm gonna use my fingerprint. And now the door with the green light is unlocked. Again, want to send a huge thank you out to Tiho for sending over this lock. Guys, get into the aesthetics of it. I love that, as you can see, it works with our knob. Is that what you call that, babe, a knob? Yeah, I guess a doorknob. <laughs> 
it was so super simple and easy to put in. I can, do you say simple and easy in the yeah. same sentence? Uh, but it was really quick, guys. Suitable for both men and women. All you needed was a screwdriver. To install, right? And what, and what I like about it is there's so many different ways you can use the code. So uh, we showed you guys keyless entry and we talked about, hey, you can have up to 20 numbers mm -hmm. and fingerprints that you can use for various members of your family. But you can also set up a one-time code, meaning... Yeah. If somebody just needs to come into your house one time yeah. and never use the code again, um, you can do that. Like, let's just say, for example, you are away, right? And, you know, we have family mem family members who we may want to let in just one time. <laughs> so we have a lock or we'll have a code for them. Just for them. Um, you know, if you're away and they need to get in and, you know, maybe get something or send you something. You know, it's summer and we may be at the beach or whatever and we forget something that we need. We got that family member who can just head over to the house, pick it up for us. And, and speaking of forgetting things, if you forget to lock the door, mm -hmm. there's a smart <laughs> locking feature that will automatically lock the door for you if you forget between 10 and 99 seconds. And with all of these features, you also get a 30 day money back guarantee, free replacement within one year. You get lifetime customer service. Again, click the link below, go to Amazon. You'll see all the customer service and lifetime guarantee details. All right, there you have it guys. Look how pretty it is. I freaking love it. So thanks Tiho. Don't forget, like Eric said, check that description box, all the links and everything you'll need to get your lock will be below. Back to the details of what happened. So we had gone down to Orlando, Eric and I. It was close to the 4th of July. It was nearing the time for Chase's program with the Disney College program to be up. Um, he actually ended his program early because he wanted to come back and, you know, kind of hang out with friends and things like that and get ready for, you know, his next semester. So he ended his program slightly early, not by much. And so we were moving him out of the apartment that he was sharing with a few other guys and he was going to come over and join us over at, um, at the hotel. So everything fit in his trunk. We did have a few boxes and a couple of suitcases that we put in the back of his car. You know, Chase has our old Mercedes. Um, there's no tents on the window or anything like that. Um, he couldn't really get anything in. We did put some of his items in our truck, but not a whole lot because you guys know she travels really heavy. So we were pretty full. And, you know, we'd done some shopping and things. So, you know, the truck was gonna be full, but he didn't have a whole lot of stuff. So everything for the most part fit in his trunk and in the back seat of his car. So the day that we finished packing up, Eric took his car to put some gas in it and things like that. And then he was gonna meet um, Chase and I back over at the hotel. And then we were gonna go grab a bite to eat. Well, within, you know, with all the excitement of Chase, you know, finally, you know, being free and now able to really enjoy the park. He did enjoy the theme parks while he was there, but he did work a lot. So with him having his newfound freedom from work, we were really looking forward to getting, um, getting out of the hotel. Uh, we were really looking forward to getting out and hanging out. So when, when Eric got back with all of the, with all of the excitement, um, he didn't lock Chase's car door. And so we, we took the truck with us to, you know, go hang out in the parks and, you know, grab some food or whatever. And so when we came back, you know, it was dark. No one was thinking, oh, make sure the car door is locked because, you know, his stuff was in the back seat and it was exposed. We got up the next morning. The next morning we were actually checking out to head back home and Eric goes to Chase's car door and notices that not only was the car door ajar, but there was nothing in the back seat. There was nothing in the trunk. Chase had his Xbox, his laptop, brand new laptop, um, big, huge duffel bag, nothing but sneakers. If you guys have boys, with big feet, Chase wears a size 14 wide shoe. His shoes are ridiculously expensive. 
all kinds of tech stuff, um, clothes, all this clothes and things, gone. Just wiped us out. We were just sick. We were just sick. And so we had to make the long drive back home. They didn't, you know, break the windows or anything like that because the door was unlocked. And if the door's unlocked, the trunk was unlocked. Unlocked. So, needless to say, it was a long, long, long ride home. And so we've just been back just trying to recover from that. You know, we just felt really violated. And it was our fault. The doors should have been locked. Um... But to have to come back home and just replace all of his stuff, the laptop was brand brand new. And you guys know how expensive these laptops are. And he had to have one for school. All of his tech stuff, like I said, his, his game system, all his games, like clothes. We're still trying to replace the clothes and, and shoes and stuff because he had really amassed a large collection of clothes and shoes that he took down there with him. And so, yeah. So that's where we are right now. So just wanted to share that with you guys. Uh, we are in a better space um but just when you guys are you know traveling around you're going on summer vacations and things like that don't leave anything in your car and of course we knew that we know not to leave things in the car but you know you get excited and you get you know caught up in things and you just you get caught slipping we got caught slipping and so there's <laughs> there's the that on that you guys drop down leave a comment let me know if you've ever had an, an experience like this where someone has broken into your car i think that's it's just a big thing right now people are breaking into people's cars and just as you know just regular people we just have to be vigilant and just understand that there are people out here who are looking for you to just get caught up in the wood what you're doing and not think about you know someone taking advantage of you but yeah drop down leave a comment let me know if this has ever happened to you i'm gonna tell you lord willing it won't happen to us again we're not gonna get caught slipping uh like that again because we have really really taken a big big you know of course it, it's a financial hit thank the lord we uh, are in a position to replace those items but you know when things happen to you and you're not expecting it you know it's a lot um but so you guys know i like to we're gonna move on <laughs> so you guys know here lately uh, before all this happened i have been putting secret codes in the video right so today's secret code is going to be lock l o c K all caps lock L O C K all caps lock your doors. That's going to be the secret code for uh, today's video. Let me look here on my phone, make sure I don't uh, leave out any of these specifics. So, this code, guys, if you have never watched any of the previous videos where I've shared my secret codes, and this is for the Unfrumpy Mommy store, the secret code L O C K uppercase you're going to get if you shop over in the unfrumpy store right now for a limited time um let's see i'll put the date i'll put the date in this video in the description box for when for um how long you'll be able to use this code because i'm not quite sure when this video is going to go up so the secret code is l-o-c-k all uppercase 30 percent off of all the current um butters in the store yeah all the current butters are going to be 30 percent off i've never given 30 percent off before but i just appreciate you guys so many of you reached out to me during this little two-week hiatus uh via email via private messages wanting to know hey what's going on we haven't seen any videos well now you know um, but so in appreciation of you guys just really looking out, we're going to do 30% off all the butters in the store using that code and all of the lotions and shower gels are now $5.95. So I want to say this like half off. So head over to the store, use that secret code L-O-C-K uppercase all caps. And for a limited time only, you'll be able to get 30% off all the butters and all of the lotions and the body gels are going to be 
five. So we are up here in my closet room. Take a good look at it, right? Because we are getting ready to dismantle. Sorry about the lighting going in and out, sitting in front of the window. But we're getting ready, guys, to dismantle this room, right? Today, we are going to start excuse me <laughs> today we are starting we're going to start decluttering in here because i am finally going to paint the the closet system this ikea closet system i am going to go ahead and paint it white but first i need to remove the clothing i need to remove my purses and speaking of which i am getting ready to um replenish my purse collection you guys know i got rid of a lot of pieces quite a few pieces here uh, in my handbag collection i've gotten rid of and i'm looking to not replace those because if i got rid of them you know i feel i wasn't really you know in love with those bags anymore i wasn't really getting a whole lot of use um, from those bags anymore now i'm going to rebuild my collection with the bags that are really speaking to me there is this one in particular when I tell you I've had two nights where I've dreamt about this particular bag, it is sick. It is sickening. Not going to share it with you guys yet, but um, it is on my radar. All right. I hope that you guys can see uh, it's a little dark in here. That is, again, one of the reasons why I am looking forward to painting this space. Just, you know, kind of hoping to lighten it up a little bit. But I have you guys at that angle because I am going to also in here be replacing the shiny furniture pieces. You guys know that once upon a time, the mirrored pieces, the shiny pieces, those were the looks, the furniture pieces that we were all, you know, using to decor decorate and, you know, kind of zhuzh up our spaces. But we have since moved in another direction in terms of decor. And so I am going to be doing that as well. So these two pieces right here, it looks like one piece, this mirrored little set right here, it looks like one piece, but it's actually two. It's two mirror dressers that I kind of pushed together. And as you can see, I have my, you know, perfume tray and some um, other little accessories up here. So this will be, I'm not sure if I want to replace this though. Not sure if I want to put another island right here. Um, I don't know. I think I may entertain the idea of just having this little space right here just nice and open. Um, over here where I sit is actually a mirror desk. I've already gone ahead and taken some of the things off of it. Um, but for the most part, what we're doing today is just going through and just decluttering. My denim collection is really sick. I have a lot of denim, but the problem is a lot of these jeans I've had forever and I don't wear them. So over here, all of these white jeans, I'm going to um, donate those. Um, I have some darker denim over here that I'm going to be donating um, as well. And quite a few items inside of these drawers I will be getting rid of also. So today is going to be spent decluttering. This particular video is going to be the first in, I know, a series of videos. It's going to take me a minute to get everything out of here. I have hardware that I need to take off of these units. And then just to get it primed, I'm going to absolutely have to prime this space but i do have a technique that i want to try out i've been watching a few little videos and i think i got it where it won't take me so long but yeah drop down leave your comments and your suggestions as i move through just kind of reinventing my closet room i'm super excited about it um eric not so much so you won't <laughs> see eric in this little series of videos He's not really here for painting and things like that. He honestly feels that the space looks great as is. There is, I guess, technically nothing wrong with it. It is a very fully functioning closet room. I, however, just want to, you know, bring it.
the denim, the jeans and things off of this, these two racks. I think I've decided that I don't want the racks anymore. I think what I'll do, because Ikea, their pieces are so, I guess you wanna say modular, you can kind of add and take away and you know switch up the configuration as you like. I don't feel that I am going to need this rack and this particular rack anymore. So all I'll have to do is unscrew these little pieces of hardware here. And I was gonna have to take it off anyway to paint, to get all back in there. Um, but yeah, so I think what I will do uh, once everything is completed, is just add some shelving right there. And over here, let's see, I may keep one of the racks here. And yeah, I think, cause I, like, I don't like how close these tops are to the denim, it looks a bit cluttered. So I won't use this one, I'll just have this one right here. That's what I'm, th that's what I'm thinking for right now, um, but yeah. So just about half of these I know are going to go to Goodwill um, as well. Um, I'm just not wearing them and there's just no need to kind of keep them around. Um, some of these I haven't worn in years. overview all the denim here is gone the denim over here is gone the denim right there on that ottoman that's what I'm keeping so that's roughly about two four six eight that's about ten pairs of jeans that I'll be keeping this pal right here will be headed to Goodwill over here I have some camo that I'll be keeping this pair anyway um, going to donate that pair for all my swimsuits and little swimsuit cover-ups I just always just throw those in I don't really follow those what's down here denim oh yeah I'm gonna go through my denim shorts also some of these are new you won't be able to tell <laughs> these are actually new these are a pair of Levi cutoffs and I love them I actually purchased these from Target, believe it or not, um, but pears, but others, um, well, these are new too, actually, those are from Old Navy, um, those are new, um, I'm gonna keep those, this right here, th this is an older pair, going to get rid of those, so those will go today, swimsuit cover-up, I purchased this on that cruise we went on, um, I actually purchased two of them. That thing was so overpriced, um, but it's cute. Love the colors. This pair of shorts will get donated. Are these new? Let me see. No, are they? Do the cuffs stay in these? Okay, no. I don't like the shorts that the cuffs come out of. I really don't like to buy those with the cuffs, but sometimes they look so cute in the store that, um, you know, I'll pick them up, but um, those are gonna get donated. This pair, I think I got, these were actually some denim pants that I purchased from Goodwill and I cut those into shorts. They're super big. I don't know, but I can't get rid of them. I just love the wash on that. I'm gonna keep those. Um, these little shorts right here, I'll keep those. This will go these will go and then just some little ties that go on my swimsuits I need to tighten that up it's going to be coming off anyway but um let's see I'm gonna keep that i love this little swimsuit uh while we were away in florida before 
stuff went all crazy i purchased this from i think tj maxx guys it looks so cute on if you were following me over on um, instagram you would have seen this oh i love it i think it's like 19 dollars. oh no wrong pile wrong pile you're there gonna keep that gonna keep that uh keep that do i want that all right we'll keep that I love this. I have had this, I know, for about four years. I purchased this little swimsuit cover-up. Um, little sundress from Forever 21. And I freaking love it. Uh, let's see what else is in here. Random swimsuit. Another swimsuit cover-up. I love this swimsuit right here, too. Um, I think I got this one from Marshalls. Marshalls has some really great swimsuits. I love this one so much. I went and looked up the name of it. And you can get this particular swimsuit for like $130. Um, if you, I, don't, I think I took the tag out of it. I forget the name of it. But I think I spent, I think I paid like $29 for this swimsuit. Um, so, yeah. If you're looking for swimsuits this summer head to i guess both marshall's and tj maxx here's that other one so like i said i purchased two of those sundresses where's the other one so there's one there and there's one there what did i pay for this dress 158 freaking dollars on the cruise ship um there was something i don't know what happened where i needed to buy one of these but yeah i don't know what possessed me to buy two every time i think about that cruise mm -mm. um keep what is this like a little sports bra all right so we got those two drawers all cleaned out all right guys quick outfit of the day we'll start here up top my Gucci cap always comes in clutch, all right? Also coming in clutch on today are these sunglasses. These are from Amazon, love these. I think they were like 12 bucks, something like that, but I'll have them linked below for you guys if you are interested. But I love the fact that they are super over, oversized. Um, great for those days where you feel like you have not gotten enough sleep, which is the case for your girl today. All right, moving on down to the top. This tank top is from Target. You guys know Target has the best tank tops and they're like $8. So I have this one in black, I have it in white, and I have it in brown. All right, the glow is courtesy of Unfrumpy Mommy Skin, Unfrumpy Skin. And I think today I'm wearing, it's baby powder. So love that for me. Um, the skirt is also from Target. I shared this skirt along with about three or four others in a previous Instagram haul. Love it, super tiered. And I love the fact that it has the little shorts underneath so you are covered and secure. But yeah, again, top and skirt are actually from Target. And then for my shoes, I have on these Adidas sneakers. I don't pull these out all that often. Um, I have a big foot, right? I have big feet. I wear a size 11. And while I love the look of these Adidas, I feel that they make my feet look super large. And no one with big feet, unless you're maybe a guy, uh, wants to look like they have even larger feet, but I felt that they would look great with the look today So pull them out, but yeah, that is today's outfit of the day just super Incognito I feel um, for the lack of sleep you got the the cap, you know hiding the lace um, The glasses, you know hiding the crazy eyes. So yeah, love this uh, look for me today um, So I'm not sure if I mentioned to you guys that my laptop went out a few days ago So we're on the hunt for a new laptop uh, We're also going to Home Depot. I think I mentioned that I want to go ahead and look at the paint and primer uh, Also going to Ulta, but the first stop is going to be Goodwill. I have all the bags. I believe it's like five bags packed up in the car. So gonna head there first. So I'll see you guys in the car. So I think I'm actually going to go with these Ray-Bans because I wanna keep my sunglasses on in the store and they're super dark. So I think I'm gonna go with these. And I think I like these better with this look anyway because they're a little bit smaller 
and they fit up underneath the brim of the hat a little bit better. So these will be the sunnies for today. All right, guys, we are on our way. Can you guys see all the bags back there? I think they're, what did I say, like five bags? Here's the thing though, that's not everything from the closet that I wanted to donate. But if I had stayed in there any longer, you know, it just, the, the day would have gotten away from me and I wanna go ahead and head to Home Depot because not sure if you guys are painters, but I love to paint. I'm not a painter, but I do enjoy painting and I'm really wanting to get there and, you know, look at the primer and things like that. Um, but so I wanted to ask you guys also, what, how do you guys feel about thread? Is it thread up or threads? I think it's threads. How do you guys feel about threads? I, I'm not going to join. I do understand and love the plight of the uh, tech guys who started it. If you are kind of in the know, then you know these are just the, these are the individuals that Elon Musk decided he didn't need anymore. So they said, all right, so screw you. We're going to go do our own thing. And so now he's all up in arms about it. But have you guys joined threads? Will you be joining if you have not? For me, tick, okay, yeah, TikTok. Instagram and YouTube are absolutely enough for me to do, you know, well. It's one thing to have a bunch of little, you know, apps that you're taking part in, but then are you really putting all the effort into them and making, you know, making sure they're good, I guess I want to say. Um, so I can't add another thing. Plus I'm running the store. I can't add another thing to my plate, but you guys drop down, leave a comment let me know if you're on threads how how do you like it compared to twitter and um if you're not going to do threads um why not and are you on instagram a lot of you have said that you are not on instagram what is that all about was reading 94 when I tipped outside of the vehicle today so super super hot really happy to be back home so we did drop the items off I think I shared that with you guys really quickly um, the drop off at Goodwill so did that went into Ulta and picked up more of the Peter Thomas Roth even smoother glycolic retinol resurfacing pill pads. What I would like to know is who's responsible for coming up with the names of these products. Like this product, the, the name of the product is like, 
it's like a dissertation like it is so long but what i will say is these are the truth the way and the light they are so so good for kind of jump starting your skin after you've kind of neglected it and you know all the things we do when we are you know not really on our skincare hustle so picked up actually two of these because they were actually 30 percent off today so love these oh and then in line you know you gotta get caught up in the queue um just this nyx lip gloss i don't really do lipstick and makeup and all the things during the summer it's just too hot and oh looks like i received a 10 percent off when you buy online and pick up in the store or curbside all right so thank you ulta um then i also tipped into the kroger and picked up some rice pudding i don't get this all that often but when i do i really really enjoy it i love the consistency of this particular rice pudding there are some other great ones out there but i love that this particular one what's the name of this cozy shack the rice itself isn't super mushy and it's not really sweet at all um there are 120 calories and only two grams of fat so a really quick little health semi-healthy snack um i also picked up some baby spinach and then i picked up the coconut pineapple yeah the coconut pineapple bubbly my kroger has been out of this particular one for a minute so i saw it in there today and grabbed one these are so good super ice cold all right and then inside of home depot i picked up the primer as it's great for smooth surfaces as you guys know that the ikea furniture is uh, super smooth and then I picked up some furniture paint um, semi-gloss was the finish and then I just um, just got it in the color white and then while I was away another pair of sunglasses came in for me so these were the ones I had originally tried on before leaving today love these I want to say these are very reminiscent of the Jackie O style of sunglasses so love love these and those were from Amazon and then these came in from Amazon as well this is how they look on also a really big frame those of us who are not trying to wear all of this slick oil slick makeup this summer the large lenses on the sunglasses really you know do a lot they cover up the face and like I said, if we haven't gotten enough sleep or if you're, you know, a little bit apprehensive about going out during the day and not wearing makeup, um, big lenses on your sunglasses are the absolute way to go. All right, so got these and oh, yeah, so I picked up all of the accoutrement to go along with the painting. So, you know, your roller, uh, got little rollers there. I think I got the little, mm, I didn't get the little hook thing, the metal thing to go with that. I'll have to get that another day. It's like you go to Home Depot and Lowe's if you're starting on a project and you're going to have to make at least two trips because you're going to forget something. But you know, you know what it is. All the little stuff that comes along or that you have to get when you're painting. So that is it. Everything for right now. Um, I think I will go ahead and end the video here. We'll pick up in the next video with us back up in the closet, seeing what we can get rid of so that we can get ready to, you know, redo this closet. Don't forget, drop down, leave a comment. Let me know if you would actually do an island remember i said earlier that i don't know if i want to put an island in there anymore i really like the look or i think i like the look of the space being a little bit more open um and then what are your uh, recommendations for like a little makeup station um, in there because the desk or table that i have in there right now is glass and you know we you know, we're not really doing that glass and mirrored furniture anymore. So let me know your suggestions. All right. Really appreciate you guys stopping in. Thanks so, so very much for all of the love. And I'll see y'all in the next video. I won't be gone so long this time. All right.